This question says, so he leaves to live with a girlfriend that he's been cheating on me with, and now he wants half the house, half my retirement, me to pay him spousal support and his lawyer's fees. What? How is that even possible? Why is it possible? Why is it possible? It is possible. My name is Billy Tarasio, Arizona family law attorney. All right, so he leaves to live with the girlfriend that he's been cheating on. It has absolutely no impact on either the division of the property or spousal maintenance or lawyer fees. So that doesn't count. He wants half the house, half the retirement. Okay, if those are all community property, so the house was purchased during the marriage with money that was earned during the marriage, then he gets half of the house. Half the retirement, same analysis. Was that earned during the marriage with wages that were earned while you were married? If so, he gets half. Spousal maintenance is pursuant to a calculator in Arizona if he qualifies. And somebody has to pay somebody else's lawyer fees depending on the disparity of income. So if you make a whole lot more than he does and the reasonableness of his positions. This seems so incredibly unfair, doesn't it? This is what people need to understand about marriage. When you get married, you are operating, you are opting into a construct. The court has rules and they will apply those rules to you unless you opt out. If you are married to someone and there is a big, large disparity of income or disparity of earning capacity, there is huge risk. Now, the good news is for you in this case, um, the person who makes more money usually does better post-divorce than the person who makes less money. So even though this may feel very, very unfair now, even with dividing all of your community pro property assets in half, and even with whatever you might owe him in spousal support, you're still gonna be okay. You're still going to have a lot more money than he does because that's just simply the way the system works. And lawyer fees are really hard to get. My advice to anybody out there who's in a marriage that isn't 100% lock solid is to consider getting a post up. Better yet, even if you are lock solid, think about and talk about a post up. Talk about, hey, I saw this thing online where this woman was cheated on and now even though she makes most of the money, he's gonna take half her retirement, half the house, and she has to pay spousal maintenance and lawyer fees. I think that's wrong. Do you think that's wrong? We need an agreement on how we would handle something like that if it happened in our marriage. Have the conversation. Get a post up. We can help you.